looks like the infamous Pakistani IT aide who's at the center of a Democrat IT scandal may get immunity. A new report suggests Imran Awan and his brother are seeking a deal with the feds, in exchange for dirt on disgraced former DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Last week the Washington Examiner reported that Hina Alvi, the wife of Debbie Wasserman Schultz's now infamous former IT staffer Imran Awan, had struck a deal with federal prosecutors to return to the U.S. where she currently faces charges of conspiracy and bank fraud. The deal with prosecutors mandates a return to the U.S. during the last week of September 2017 and is structured so that she will not be arrested in front of her children. Now, if you're the cynical type, then it might have struck you as somewhat odd that Alvi would agree to return from Pakistan, the place to which she successfully fled specifically to avoid the charges she now seems to be embracing. But, at least according to Congressman Trent Franks, Aras, who appeared on Fox News recently, there may be more to Alvi's return than meets the eye as he predicts that the Awans could be working on a broader immunity deal with prosecutors in return for a significant and pretty disturbing story about Debbie Wasserman Schultz. I don't want to talk out of school here but I think you're going to see some revelations that are going to be pretty profound. The fact that this wife is coming back from Pakistan and is willing to face charges, as it were, I think there is a good chance she is going to reach some type of immunity to tell a larger story here that is going to be pretty disturbing to the American people. I would just predict that this is going to be a very significant story and people should fasten their seatbelts on this one. Of course. This follows speculation that surfaced last week suggesting that even if the Awans were originally acting to protect slash extort Debbie Wasserman Schultz, that may have all changed on April 6, 2017 when Imran seemingly led U.S. Capitol Police directly to her laptop. Per the Daily Caller. A laptop that Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz has frantically fought to keep prosecutors from examining may have been planted for police to find by her since indicted staffer, Imran Awan, along with a letter to the U.S. Attorney. U.S. Capitol Police found a laptop after midnight April 6, 2017, in a tiny room that formerly served as a phone booth in the Rayburn House office building, according to a Capitol Police report reviewed by the Daily Caller News Foundation's investigative group. Alongside the laptop were a Pakistani ID card, copies of Awan's driver's license and congressional ID badge, and letters to the U.S. attorney. Police also found notes in a composition notebook marked attorney-client privilege. The laptop had the username Rep. DWS, even though the Florida Democrat and former Democratic National Committee chairman previously said it was Awin's computer and that she had never even seen it. The laptop was found on the second floor of the Rayburn Building, a place Awin would have had no reason to go because Wasserman Schultz's offices in the Longworth Building and the other members who employed him had fired him. DWS's story on the now infamous laptop has evolved over the months. Originally it was apparently her laptop back when she decided to threaten the U.S. Capitol Police chief but later, after he stood his ground, DWS backtracked saying she had never seen the laptop and it never belonged to her.